Good morning, Poland. This is the morning program of TV Republika. I would like to welcome our guest from distant Canada, Artur Pawłowski. Thank you very much. You're a preacher and the pastor of Street Church in Calgary, Canada. Let's start from the beginning. How did you end up in Canada? It's a long story. In 1989, my father decided to emigrate to Greece. We joined him in 1990 and spent six years there. We started a prosperous business and in 1995 we moved to Canada. Why? Because Canada offered something that we lacked in communist Poland, that is democracy, freedom of speech, and opportunities for anyone who is ambitious and wants to achieve something. We had a meeting with the Canadian ambassador in Athens. He said that Canada was the place for us. There is freedom, a constitution and human rights. Let's add that your business was doing very well in Canada and you were able to donate money to charity. This is something that you're known for. You give out hundreds of thousands of meals to the homeless and needy people in Canada. Here we touch the subject of Canada being this promised land with democracy. Yet it appears that your work is opposed by the authorities. Why? Yes, to me this was the greatest shock. In school we read books about Canada and learned that it is a country flowing with milk and honey, democratic, suitable for those who want to achieve something without any fear of repercussions. It turns out that things are completely different. We are not allowed to speak about some things. The clergy is persecuted. Isn't that the terror of political correctness? Exactly. But it wasn't like that at the beginning. We started going out onto the streets and opening churches in the ghettos and pulling thousands out of the gutter. Everything was fine. The media wrote good things about us until we started speaking about certain issues. Speaking about corruption is not allowed. Most of the media are controlled by the authorities. You can't speak about abortion. It's better to pretend that it doesn't happen. We shouldn't even speak about divorces, because 55% of the people are divorced. It is forbidden to speak about homosexuality. Some journalists even came to the conclusion that in Canada something like homofascism exists. It means that they can do whatever they want and speak about whatever they want to. They are allowed to curse us and our God. But if we say, hey, we've got our rights guaranteed by the Constitution, it won't work, because it only works one way. Ministers from both Catholic and Protestant churches receive letters. I received them too. I was no longer allowed 1% tax support and the letter explained why. Because I speak negatively about abortion, divorce and homosexuality. Of course, if I had spoken positively about these, there wouldn't be any problem. But because of that, according to the federal law, we can't be considered a charity. What other forms of hostile action were taken against you by the authorities? I've been arrested ten times for freedom of speech and for feeding the homeless. We've given out millions of meals. We feed thousands of people who are excluded from society each week. Among them there are also homosexuals. We don't ask them about their political views or about their identity. At that moment it doesn't matter. People who are in need matter. I've been arrested ten times and chained like a criminal. I was taken to both criminal and civil court over 100 times. In October I had three court cases for things like illegal prayer in public. 
Arrests became normal in Canada. It is not only Artur Pawłowski anymore. I was the first citizen of Canada arrested for public Bible reading. Now others are being arrested too. When I was warning the people in 2006, they thought that I was crazy. I was warning them because I grew up in a country like this. I emigrated to Canada because I didn't want my children to grow up in such a country. People didn't believe me back then, and now arrests have become the norm. This really doesn't match the common notion that Polish people have about Canada. Is the situation worse in Canada than in the USA? Not yet, but Canadians are different. Americans walk around with guns and they have strong values and a concept of freedom. And they are willing to fight. They are rebels in a good sense. Canadians haven't experienced any war on their land. It's a very young country. People are very apathetic. They want to be left alone and will stab you in the back with a smile on their face. And with all that, Canadians place a great emphasis on political correctness. This is why they are losing their freedom so quickly. In the USA, a lot depends on the state authorities. Which block, for example, the gender madness, according to the will of the residents. What is it like in Canada? Is the local government strong at the provincial level? It's similar to the USA, but the media promote whatever the federal government wants to do. The latest news is that lawyers who finish a Christian university in some provinces in Canada do not have the right to practice the profession. This is absurd. This is against the Constitution and against the law. Unfortunately, to fight for our rights, we need to go to court. I remortgaged my house five times to protect myself. Each time I go to court, I need to pay for a lawyer. This is how they oppress people who dare to speak up. I grew up in communism, and I am Polish, and that makes me a difficult target. I am not willing to give up. While I'm in Poland, I've been sentenced for walking through the streets of our city with the name of Jesus. That is why I urge the Polish people to wake up. Now is the time to do something and fight for freedom. That is why I organize the festivals and marches. We have nothing to be ashamed of. We Christians, Catholics and Protestants, should unite and fight for our religion, God and the Constitution. Now is the time to act, because tomorrow things might become like they are now in Canada. Are you alone in that fight, or are there any helpers, secret sponsors or lawyers who want to defend you? In Canada it's not so easy. People are intimidated. Pastors, preachers and priests are intimidated. A Catholic bishop was forced to stay silent about homosexuality, abortions and divorces. Lately there has been a big witch hunt against my friend, who is a minister of transportation, who dared to open the March for Jesus in Calgary, organized by people who have anti-homosexual views. Nationwide news to był, nie? 
Minister opens an anti-homosexual march for Jesus. But it had nothing to do with homosexuality. It was a march for Jesus attended by Catholics and Protestants. W marszu. Nie. Oni już to łączą razem, zastraszają polityków. Ten biedny This poor man had to explain his participation for weeks. Dlaczego miał czelność otworzyć marsz? Mówił gość telewizji Republikanów. This was Arta Pawłowski, a pastor of the Street Church in Calgary, Canada. Thank you very much for joining us.